Good morning, my friends, and welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church. Welcome to our Mass today. Today is July 14th, and we celebrate the memorial of St. Kateri de Kakwitha. Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Friends, coming together as God's family, we call to mind our sins and our failures, and we ask God that He grants us pardon and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who desired the Virgin Blessed Kateri Tekakwitha to flower among Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church, from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire, flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses, de Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses, he answered. Here I am, God said. Come no nearer, remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are, are oppressing them. Come now. I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? He answered, I will be with you, and this shall be your proof that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The word of the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Our Gospel today gives us a beautiful insight into the source and origin of grace. Jesus says, All things have been handed over to me by my Father. What Jesus possessed, everything he had, his wisdom including, had been handed on to him by the Father. And so the Father is the origin of all things. And because Jesus recognized that everything came from the Father, he did not keep everything he had to himself. He also freely gave them all. He emptied himself, pouring everything out on the cross for humanity, for us all. As he had received everything from the Father, he in turn gave everything to us for our salvation. This is what we call the chain of grace. Jesus received everything from the Father. He then in turn gave them all to us freely. In that same spirit, the Lord invites us to continue on this chain of grace. We also receive from the Father through Jesus. We are then called to continue the chain of grace by giving and sharing the graces and everything that we receive and that we have to our brothers and sisters who are in need. We remember the very famous parable of the Good Samaritan, which I know you are very familiar with. The Samaritan had been blessed with health and financial resources. Proof to this is when he brought the man to an inn and prepaid everything before he left. And so he had resources, and he knew that these resources were not meant only for him alone. He was ready to use his God-given gifts to benefit others. So that when he saw the wounded traveler, he immediately acted and, to sh and he shared the blessings he had received with the man who needed help. The Samaritan for us was a true example of someone who had received a blessing and in turn became a source of blessings to others. Hopefully the one who had received that blessing and help in turn goes on to become a blessing to the next. And so the grace multiplies. And so the, the, the chain of grace continues. And then in contrast, the Levite and the priest saw no need to share the blessings with the wounded traveler. They were too self-absorbed to stop and help him. They probably had more quote-unquote important things to do. They felt they had no time for this stranger. Friends, it is easy to judge others, but we can certainly see in ourselves the same tendency to be so focused on our own concerns that we overlook or neglect the needs of others. Of course, we cannot meet all the needs of those, everyone, of those around us, but we should be open to doing what we can as the Lord inspires us to share His blessings and mercy with others. So the key is this, not to forget that all our benefits come from the Lord. Whatever we have is not ours to selfishly clutch to ourselves and refuse to share. Because the more we allow His life to, follow, to flow through us in this way, the more He can fill us with graces, full, packed, and even overflowing. Amen.
As we gather today, trusting in God's care for us, we present our needs in prayer. For all missionaries, may they be strengthened by the Holy Spirit as they testify to Jesus in serving others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations throughout the world, may the God of peace sow seeds of hope in barren lands. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lonely and despairing and those who endeavor to relieve their burdens, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may the Lord greet them and lead them to their eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in our silence, we offer to the Lord deepest desires of our hearts. Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son and humbly ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. And so pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the virgin blessed Katheri Tekakwita, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise You as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, my dear friends, Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Come out to meet Christ the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Kateri Tekakwita, may bring, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you and your loved ones in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace and love one another. Thanks be to God.